going on, aliens? I'm Mike Rosa, and today I got you a full workout to help increase your overhead press. Now, real quick before we get into this routine, make sure you download my workout app called Exercise. It is a free download in the app and Play Store. You can generate thousands of workouts based on your customized selections, so make sure you check it out and get them gains. But back to this routine, so we're gonna be going through six exercises in this workout. Now, I'm gonna offer some alternatives, and you can change around some frequencies depending on your specific case and your weak points in the OHP, but in general, you guys have to match the sets, reps, and rest periods that I recommend per exercise because that's gonna maximize your result and transfer over to a stronger overhead press. Let's get into that first exercise now, guys. The first exercise of this workout is gonna be the overhead press, guys. If you're trying to increase your overhead press, then you have to actually practice the movement and train your central nervous system to fire the motor neuron pathways in the most efficient way possible. And the reps I'm gonna recommend are actually gonna change per set, and the reason being, I want you guys to follow this workout over a six week period to maximize results. So say it's week six, I want you to work up to a top set of six. Week four, work up to a top set of four. Week two, work up to a top set of two. And that's after your warm-up sets, you get up to that top set, so that's gonna be your max basically of the day. So like I said, uh, I'll do week five in this video, Video. So I'm working up to a top set of five and that's gonna be as much weight as I can do for five repetitions And then after that I want you to rest two minutes And then you drop down to a four by eight in between your four by eight sets I want you to rest 45 seconds to a minute and that's really gonna help tackle on the hypertrophy aspect So you're working up to the strength and then working up to that hypertrophy and endurance factor So guys, we're getting into this first exercise I'm gonna be doing five repetitions so you guys can see I want you to keep your form as strict as possible have no bounce in the legs we're working on that strict overhead press, guys. All right, five reps. Now guys, I'll rest at two minutes, and then I'll probably drop down to 185, 195 pounds for my four by eight. For that four by eight, it is essential that you're getting all 32 reps. I'm saying four sets, and that's what I want you guys to aim for, but say you go a little too heavy, and you have to finish your volume, add on extra sets, and get all 32 reps. That's absolutely significant, and maximizing the effectiveness for this workout. On to that second exercise now. The second exercise is gonna be the push press, and you're gonna be doing six sets of four repetitions, and I want you guys to rest a minute and 30 seconds up to two minutes in between your sets. Now the point of the push press, guys, is it's explosive overload. If you're someone who struggles off the bottom, this is a great way to tackle on more weight and train your central nervous system to get more weight off the bottom of the movement, and it's also gonna help correlate to a stronger lockout because you're gonna get more weight up to this level and just have to force your triceps to lock the weight out. It's just a great overall exercise to train your central nervous system to be able to handle more weight, and with the push press, you're adding in that bounce. So I want you guys to actually do more weight than you used for your top set for your overhead press if you can. Now I'm gonna be doing, I added on 10 pounds to each side. I'm just gonna show you guys an example. So, I want you guys to control that eccentric, reset yourself, come down. Hold it for a second at the top, I want you guys to Gain as much stability and tightness throughout this motion as much as possible. So guys, you got five more sets of that to go. Like I said, if you're anyone who struggles from the bottom part of the motion, this is a great way to help break that plateau and just work on all that overload work. And a great alternative to second exercise is the barbell incline bench press. And the reason this is a great alternative accessory exercise to help increase your overhead press is the upper chest is significantly involved, especially in the bottom part of the overhead press. When you start off, you're slightly leaning back and the bar should be placed on the upper chest to begin the movement. And when you're exploding off, of course, it's a ton of shoulder strength, but like I said, the upper chest is significantly involved. And I want you guys, of course, to be doing the same sets and reps that I recommended. So six by four, six sets, four repetitions and the rest periods one minute 30 seconds of rest up to two minutes now I'll show you guys exactly how I want you to be doing the incline bench press I want your hands to be facing forward do not do the reverse grip version because I want your hands to be in the exact same placement as it would be for the overhead press so match your hand placement with exactly what your overhead placement would be Should still 
still be doing more weight than you did for your top set of overhead press if you can. And like I said, guys, you can follow this workout over a six week period. So say you wanna do the push press this week, the next week you do the incline bench press. It's a great way to switch things up and keep working that bottom part of the overhead press. Now on to that third exercise. The third exercise is gonna be the Z pin press. This is gonna be working the lockout portion of your overhead press. You're gonna be doing five sets of five repetitions and the rest periods are gonna slightly lower to a minute of 15 seconds up to a minute 45 seconds of rest. Now it's very important you listen to what I'm about to say. If the lockout of your overhead press is your weakest portion, then I want you to switch the order with exercise number two. So the Z pin press would replace exercise number two and be the six by four and the push press or the barbell incline bench press would be the five by five. But if the bottom portion of your overhead press is the weakest portion, then it stay as it is, guys. Now, let me show you exactly how to do the Z pin press. I want you guys to do this exercise beltless because I want you to also emphasize that core stability factor. You're gonna be sit sitting down for this, have your legs fully out, and I want you to have the exact same grip that you would for your overhead press. You're gonna be setting up the pins to halfway. So whatever the halfway por portion of your overhead press is, that's exactly where you should be starting out from. So guys, I'm gonna show you five reps. Everything is the same except you're in this position and you're starting halfway. One. Control that eccentric. Two. Three. Four. Five. You gotta squeeze that core, otherwise guys, you're falling right back. This is one of my favorite exercises that I utilize to increase the lockout of my overhead press. I highly recommend you give Z pin presses a try if you've never done before. Onto that fourth exercise now. Onto the fourth exercise now, which is gonna be the Y raise. You're gonna be doing five sets of eight repetitions and you're gonna lower the rest to only one minute of rest in between your sets. Now this is a great exercise that targets the rear delts while also transferring over to helping increase your overhead press. And it does so by, it helps maintain tightness as you come up on the overhead press. I want you guys to have the rope start off about upper chest level and keep the rope spread out from the beginning of the movement. This is how you're gonna establish tightness throughout the duration of this exercise. So, eight reps guys. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I want you guys to make sure that you're squeezing your shoulder blades together to make sure you're optimally targeting those rear delts on every single repetition. And since we're working on increasing the overhead press, I find this exercise essential because you're also focusing on the aspect of coming overhead. On to that fifth exercise now, guys. Now we're on to exercise number five, which is gonna be front overhead tricep extensions. You're gonna be doing four sets of 10 repetitions with only 45 seconds of rest in between your sets. Now the reason I'm a huge fan of this exercise and helping increase my overhead press is you're starting off in the exact same positioning that you would be for your overhead press. But this time, you're gonna be engaging your tricep from the bottom part of the motion, which is gonna to correlate to a much stronger lockout. And this is just a great tricep movement, so if you've never done this variation before, definitely give it a try. So 10 reps, guys, have the dumbbell start in front of the body, come as deep as you possibly can, and you come all the way out and push your head through just like the overhead press. So one, two, Flex that tricep at the top every single rep. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now obviously you guys, do the exact same sets and reps and weight used on the other arm. You wanna build as symmetrically as possible. And again, we're working on the aspect of coming overhead and you're basically simulating the form that it would be for the overhead press with the exact body positioning and movements coming through. So this is a great accessory movement. Give it a try, guys. Onto the sixth and final exercise of this workout and it's gonna be around the world raises. You're gonna be doing three sets of 12, repetitions and you're gonna lower the rest periods to only 30 seconds rest in between your sets. Now this is a very challenging exercise and requires a ton of shoulder mobility. So if you've never done this exercise or specifically focused on increasing your shoulder mobility, I highly suggest and emphasize that you start very light performing this movement or you even use bands and then progress up to dumbbells and then you can slowly increase in weight increments as you progress with this movement. But increasing your shoulder mobility, it's gonna have a high transfer rate to helping increase your overhead press. It's gonna help just maintain all of your shoulder 
shoulder stability, and it's gonna and the more shoulder stability you have, the more aspects of strength that you're gonna be able to gain. So. <sighs> Palms are gonna be facing up this entire exercise. You're starting with the hands elevated in this position and they're gonna stay elevated in the entire duration of this movement. You're coming all the way up, touching at the top, all the way back down, keeping the arms up, bring it over to the front, touch the dumbbells, and then coming over your head, back down, back to the starting position, and that is one repetition. So, we got 12 total, two, three, Four, five, six. Make sure you're controlling this, guys. It's all tension throughout the entire duration of this movement. Eight. Rotator cuffs are getting worked very hard when performing this exercise and that's actually one of the reasons I love this exercise because this rotator cuff work is going to transfer over to helping you increase that shoulder mobility which is going to help transfer over to increase stability performing the overhead press which is going to help you make more strength gains. So I hope you guys like this video and if so smash that thumbs up button. I'm going to put right now on the screen the entire workout so you can see the sets, reps and rest periods recommended because it's essential guys that you follow these exact recommendations per exercise to maximize the results and increase that overhead press. And also, smash that notification bell next to the subscribe button so you never miss a new video upload from me. I'm uploading multiple times a week. And on another note, guys, a lot of people ask me about posture. Bad posture can significantly limit your mobility, restricting your ability to perform exercises like the overhead press. So here's my recommendation. FlexGuard has an awesome back brace posture corrector. And here it is. It provides a ton of lumbar support, which reduces upper and lower back pain. And guys, it significantly improves your posture. A lot of people struggle with posture performing exercises because they can't really perform those movements because of their bad posture. So something simple like this, it's comfortable and very strong and durable. You can just put it on and cover it up with a t-shirt so nobody even has to know you're wearing it. And this will significantly help increase your posture over time, guys. I definitely recommend you give this product a try if you're someone who suffers from posture and it can help you add a couple inches to your height by correcting that posture. I'll put a link in the first pinned comment as well as the description so you can easily navigate the FlexGuard's back brace posture corrector. And guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.